Hey guys, my name is Chidanesh Nuri and today I am going to show you how to install Hyper ROM version 4 on your Galaxy S3 i9300. The version 4 has many changes in it and the change log is uh, right in front of my eyes. So let's see some features. And first one is the, that the ad blocker has been added as an add-on. And you have new icons, you have design improvements, you have a smaller status bar and smaller brightness icon in the Galaxy S7 you have lock screen changes you have S planner changes you have messages changes you have settings changes you have many changes and the list goes on and on so let's get into it so first of all we're gonna turn off our device so as you can see I'm using the version 3 right now which is a bit laggy so the phone is now turning off so we're gonna go into custom recovery to do that which is gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and now we're going to let go of the power key and it is now booting into custom recovery and we're going to go in advanced wipe and we're going to select dalvi cache cache SS data and i'm going to select internal storage because i'm going to wipe my internal storage as well so we're going to swipe to wipe so we're going to go back and back and back and we're going to go in install and we're going to select the external storage uh, which is the micro sd card and because the ROM is in my micro SD card so we're gonna select the hyper ROM version 4 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash so it is now opening the hyper ROM installer so we're gonna select next and we're gonna agree to this and this ROM turns your Galaxy S3 into the Galaxy S7 so you can see the change lock right over here as well so let's uh, do the install with full wipe and we're gonna select next I'm gonna need the Samsung browser, calculator, the music app, my files and the S planner, the video player and the voice recorder and the wedge widget. I'm gonna select the Wi-Fi direct, the Samsung memo, the ad settings, the S hill, the Samsung smart manager and that's it and we're gonna select next and we're gonna select the exposed framework because it comes in handy. I'm not gonna select the boy fla configuration or the ad blocker and i'm just gonna just select the chrome and select the youtube app and we're gonna select next i'm gonna let it be the four into five icon layout because that works for me so we're gonna select next and we're gonna select the s7 boot animation so we're gonna select next and i'm gonna select the s7 system ui with s vendor and q connect so next and the rom is now installing So it's done and we're gonna select next and we're gonna reboot the device and finish and the device will reboot now so this is the s7 startup animation so the device just booted up so we're gonna change the language to English United States and we're gonna quickly set it up. So first of all it shows that the super user binary needs to be updated. So that's not a problem because I made a video about it earlier and the link to that video will be in the description and the link to that video will be in the description so first of all let's get into settings and see the android version and the android version is 4.4.4 it is a kitkat based rom and as you can see it shows the marshmallow easter egg so i think that's it thanks for watching guys